Hi guys, welcome. This is an ALCI video. We have changed a lot of things and it's time to recapitulate and show you how to build and what to choose. If you go to ALCI, that's the first change. ALCI online. So it's I've ripped it apart from Article Links project since it has nothing to do really with Article Links. It has everything to do with how can I put Calamaris the graphical installer on Arch Linux, stay as close as possible. And yes, maybe put packages of Arch Linux on there, put packages from Chaotic or AOR on there, or my own personal uh, packages as well. So any source is good basically. And you build your ISO and you have an, an, an system that's gonna look awesome out of the box because it will have your icons there, your wallpapers there, your fonts there, anything you like, you put it on the ISO. So lots of things have changed. Um, I'm planning to visit other distros. Can I build this particular ALCI on Manjaro? Can I build it on Garuda Linux? Can I build it on Chaos OS? And, and so on and so on, right? As long as it has Arch ISO, as long as it has Arch Linux as base, this could be filled up with lots of logos. I've added a page for procedure, uh, Arch ISO, decide what uh, if the Arch ISO version you're using, you're having on your system, if that's still the version we're using to build it. So it um, can be differences there. And as a result, the building will not work. So have to be on the same version. We decide what you take. There are now three ISOs to potentially build. You'll see if you start studying it, that it's actually just one. Okay. <laughs> Install keys and mirror lists. If you want to get stuff from somebody else, you need to know who it is from, so the key, and where it is. So keys are mirror lists from repo, from Chaotic, or no key at all, but your local repo on your computer, here, on your computer. You build it, you put it, and you put it on the ISO. You decide what to put in pacman.com, so the sources, where should pacman go and have a look. To Arclex, yes, no. To Chaotic, yes, no. To the local repo, yes, no. And then with that decided, you decide what packages would like to have. Just the one from Archlinux, or also Archlinux and Arco, or Archlinux, Arco and um, Chaotic, and so on. And if, we ever, if you've done all those decisions and we're gonna do it together, we're building the scripts. And this one is going to download every package again. So the cache is cleaned out, the Pac-Man cache is deleted. And here we're reusing the packages that we have already downloaded. So we have less bandwidth usage and then it's time to test. Let's go further to the rest of the pages. So we need to get the building code. You need to decide what to start with. So we have here the ALCI ISO. That's the general public ISO you should take. I'm gonna take that one. This one is already themed and tweaked to have Arch Linux, Arch Linux, Chaotic, your local repo, XORG, LightM, XFs. So basically you're booting up and do something nice and graphical. The other guys, you still have to decide if you want to have something graphical because at this point in time, when you download it, it has a hashtag in front of it, which means nothing, no installation. And the last one is the start, the idea where we started from was Let's make the most pure Arch Linux installation possible, but then with a graphical installer. So here, Calamaris is going to delete even more packages that it will not delete here or here. So really having the, the smallest possible footprint and, and the purest possible Arch Linux, that's the last one, which means no XOR, no desktop, no nothing. It's just like we would install the Arch Linux ISO. That's what we aim to um, to accomplish with a graphical installer, of course. So it's up to you to copy paste the thing you want to have. Like I told you, I've been doing this all day. I mean, this is our test or our development or our desktop ISO. You see immediately that everything works because you boot up into something graphical. But I'll show you um, that it's these things are actually more or less the same but the pure one stands uh, alone because of the fact that it has a special Calamaris that's going to remove stuff. 
it's not intended there to have a desktop in the end all right so these two are the guys that actually stay as a choice i think unless you go for pure arch right and you just work on your desktop might be a good idea right so Control shift enter desktop right mouse click no easier this one open terminal git clone is already there Control shift v i'm gonna get the other one too so i just want you to see quickly Control c Control shift v what's the difference and the difference is so easy in linux i wish we had it in windows you select these two guys and you go for melt and you compare them with the application melt and basically you can just ignore these two guys they're exactly the same thing but they're not on the same line but you can ignore all the yellow guys and let's see the left one is the one we're going to work on and the def one is the one with the desktop and and xfc and sddm and 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 right and how do you know that well the left side is the one we're going to use and here it says do not install Arch Linux key do not install the key from chaotic that's the difference between left and right between development and the normal public iso right but if you say oh whoa whoa uh, i definitely want to go for more keys then just pop it along to the other side and and uh, do your thing with it that's the point right so of course in the pacman.com needs to know hey where is actually all these packages from Arch Linux? you have to use these guys here multilip is here and the repo from Celtic AOR is here and that's how it works pacman saying here are the sources and then you can actually um, work now there are two pacmans and you'll find it in the readme one is the one where you get the packages from that's this one and the other one is just the one that's going to go on your super and on your future not super but yeah super your future operating system that's another pacman.com there are two of them and then we build here with the keys and the packages is where it all matters so this is different in this point in time it isn't but it is different in the sense that this is a standard dwm and this is the trial if we want to develop or change something we're not going to work on the nemesis we're uh, not on the dwm we're going to work on the nemesis if we want to develop the calamaris we're going to work with dev and the same for the configuration dev so this is really is um staying away from you guys so we can develop and if everything works on the dev part we move it to the other guy we move it to this guy right so it's just purely separated for development at this point in time no issues ever anywhere right but, but sometimes you need to have a, a package to test and that's the dev version or the nemesis and here we see the differences i do want to have network manager i do want to have xorg i do want to have xor apps you know, we do want to have neofetch and that's exactly what we're going to do on the other one but having both of them maybe makes more sense why they are two and why actually there's just one all right so what you would do is get this and then you're going to read i guess the information that's in here that's one thing lots of info here about pacman.com about the keys and so on the build process and here i'm gonna check the arch iso md to see the correct arch iso version Control alt t sudo pacman minus s arch iso i am now hopping all over but it's in the procedure do we have the exact version yes check decide what you what you want to choose so going for something um well yeah normally i would say number one right but now you know already the differences it's just a few files that are different and um so you could go for dev as well but know that at some point in time we might be experimenting with the dev versions 
the keys to get the keys in change the pacman.conf okay let's go so arch iso has been checked okay set the credentials get arch there's also something maybe interesting if you want to get all our, our our packages or our githubs in and our packages then this is a nice little script that gets everything downloaded in one time but we want to build and building well there you have to go for the pacman.conf the pacman.conf i always like pearl plain text pearl so these are the things that we use in pacman.conf and all the rest is not used so we do need alci repo because the calamar is in there we don't use a local repo so this is the local repo we're not going to use it it's possible it means full freedom build the packages put them in there you got it it's there and we're gonna keep to arch linux for example right every video can be different we are not opening anything but we can visit it so here is chaotic aor you want it you add it don't forget the key ring don't forget the mirror list and then that's pacman and in the packages a bunch of stuff that's not from us arch iso relang everything above comes from arch iso relang folder and we're going to use something to put up into alci dwm the calamaris the configuration of calamaris and a terminal to have something there we have sdm as display manager dash completion we would miss you grab an os prober dex to put up our um, calamaris lip cinerama dependency of c of dwm make is there to build dwm xorg xkill super escape killer process if we're bored of it x term and it's it's twice oh yeah it's twice yeah this one can go and on x or x rdb and then some explanation if you want to have a network manager later on yes no you have to decide it here what's gonna be on your future system say okay sounds like a good idea let's put that on my machine there is more to choose sdm is already here so we're booting up in the computer system sdm greets us we have network manager then we go on we might need xorg server and xorg apps and neofetch maybe as well do we need drivers for graphical cards maybe you know that by heart that's okay i, I like to have this or that card a driver for the card we have already sddm so lightm is not uh, needed and as the MSR mentioned, just to get the bunch of display managers together. Base development, yes, no. Since we always build lots of stuff, uh, base develop is not a bad idea. Linux headers, also not a bad idea to have that available. And then you decide. Um, XFC4 goodies, I believe. Uh, we could have a look. We could have a look. We could have a look youtube alci so let's see what we get the minimal mix <laughs> alci youtube look at that there's so much alci stuff around alci and then article Linux maybe let's see all right we're getting something here so stop no thanks I am logged in no I'm not logged in playlists look for playlists maybe it's already here it's already here here are all the ALCIs all of them and why did I want to go there right <laughs> what desktop shall we choose that's the only thing what desktop shall we choose here is cinnamon I see. I've built cinnamon, I've built mate already. Uh, cinnamon, mate, 
Gnome. I haven't built Gnome, I think. I think. I don't know. Maybe Budgie Gnome. It's all a choice, right? What to build now? Do I want something there or will I just type it in? It is still very much your choice, your ISO. What do I want on my ISO? My future ISO. Well, not install Arclink stuff. So no mirror list, no keyring. I will not install Celtic stuff. So no keyring and no mirror list. But here I can just type anything. Um, yeah, but you know. Now, if you don't know what the what all these names are, there are two ways. There is the Arch Wiki, which is probably going to be the fastest. But the other way is maybe something you have have already lying around, and you just grab it. So it's called Budgie Desktop, which is important, and Gnome Group. I need them both, budgie desktop gnome, budgie desktop gnome. And there you go, it's in there. Safe, so now I'm gonna build a budgie desktop with gnome. Now, this, the second point, and that's also interesting, is just print something out. Print something out, and it's called the cheat sheet. We like to cheat, all right? And here it is, download cheat sheet. How many people have it already? 1,300, 100, uh, well, 1,300 have downloaded it. And it gives you also the names of the things you like. Neat, budget desktop, budget extras maybe, Gnome, Gnome extra, so we can get more stuff. I suppose the wiki is gonna say that somewhere later on. Budget desktop, Gnome control center, did they change the names? I don't know. Control Alt T, Serial Pacman, minus S, Budgie Extra. Does it still exist? There's a lock going on. Something is locking it. I don't see anything open. Uh, let's see. This one is an. Uh, thing ah this one is locking my my other screen so if this happens it means that Pacman wrote a little file somewhere varlib Pacman and it knows I'm running nobody else should be running it can be only one Pacman but often it happens this way F12 and it's hidden away it's hidden in the F12 and you think hey, why is this locked it can't be locked and then it's hidden there remember that so budget extra does it exist target not found is it gone extras Whoa, stop no not on my plasma so it's extras with an s if we could but the cheat sheet was correct or not where is my cheat sheet it's no longer open i see i've closed it again ocular extras okay it's cool no mistakes allowed so there you go we're ready to go and um, we've made some decisions here we go to the installation scripts we go to open terminal and since everything has been more or less downloaded already i'm going to use number 40 which is going to speed everything a little bit up no it's not this is another SSD. <laughs> it's not, it needs to down there already. So let it do its thing. It's going to go to the VAR cache for cache Pac-Man and lost something else. And all these files that you see passing here are going to go in there in the root VAR cache Pac-Man packages and we are 2684 packages 19.4 gigabytes is there that's our cache so if the file is not present it will be downloaded with script 40 if you run script 30 this will all be deleted and well not 19.4 but a lot of gigabytes 
need to be downloaded the ones you selected the packages you want on the packages x8664 will be downloaded again so we have to wait now building this is often surprisingly fast certainly if you don't put any desktop on it no xorg on it no light dim no sdm then of course the less packages the faster it builds if you say all this building I'm not there yet I will and that's the point of Arconlex it's um, a study of two three years and then you're into an operating system that you fully understand and you can fix anything and you can do anything but maybe not today yet then there's the possibility to download this one that one that one from SourceForge and here are the files and the package lists do not compare package lists with each other because that's, that's pointless Calamaris is going to do lots of things afterwards to install or remove things well basically it's uh, nine, it's 100% remove I think not install pure version so but the point is build it build the ISOs so they become your ISOs this is just well what we standard have that's built so black thing black thing end up in this this has everything already just XFC no 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 plasma and so on it's all about choosing making choices choosing the blocks almost done how can I still fill it <laughs> I believe there are some tips we can have a look at in the folder again oh it's up here the folder so go ahead and read the readme because down there are some tips tip 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 things happen Sometimes the prop folder stays mounted. Either you reboot or manually sudo you mount and then the particular folder and use the tab so auto complete again and you unmount the proc thing. There is also a pacman more conf. So if you decide to start very minimal, just large, and then you are in your future system and you say, oh my god, I would like to have this and that and that from Arconix and this and that from Chaotic, then it's there. The Pacman More Conf has the, the repository, so copy paste basically. Issues with package, then you remove all the packages. We just shown you where all the files are, all the packages are. So basically, is it remove that? Ah, it's finished. So I'll let you read all the rest. I think you might be eager to see the rest super f7 you make yourself a template and then we clone everything alci iso voilà. optical drive it's somewhere on your system on your home folder alci iso out it's called arch and always a different date so if you're working around midnight remember the switch right then you say hey i changed this i changed that it's still the same nah it just went from 9 to 10. so take care <laughs> yeah you hear it. i've had it myself right control f right control f full screen now before anything happens now control f so right control f so for triple box now it's ooh, yes 1920 on 1080 in it adapts otherwise it stays a very very small screen 
This is our own virtual, um, well, sorry, our own uh, DMW, DWM, DWM desktop environment, an ALCI. And a Calamaris version that just came out, I think, a few days ago. Next, Brussels keyboard selection, fine. You'll see that, of notice that the fonts are nice. Gnome must have brought in some fonts and budgie. And that's how these things change. And off it goes. It's not the idea to download anything on this particular thing. I've accommodated users who said, oh, we want to have a, a button here to, to connect to the internet but there's no point in connecting to the internet it's all on your ISO it's there but um, this is not obstructing anything because it's a network manager and well it's one of my choices to connect to VPNs and stuff like that as well wirelesses so it has never left me down let me down so that's uh, a good application the point is just sit back like I'm now doing with crossed arms over my belly sit back and yep there we go that's the, the longest part where's the unsquashing part so the come some kind of zip right that's uncompressed I put on your system and now all the rest starts this is the cleanup removing stuff that we don't need that we need for calamars that we don't need afterwards and off we go let's be surprised and there have been uh, so many tutorials already or videos about installing things but each time the github now the website things change a little bit but basically it's still the same decide what you want and build it And now we have this. All right. Cool. First thing ever, right? Uh, first go get the uh, wallpaper and stuff like that. Number of virtual desktops, fonts, all the settings you like can be changed. But basically guys, we have a system and we build it ourselves. Uh, if you want to see, we've also installed GNOME because it is a dependency of, right? SDM is also a next stop, I think, a new design. Oops, it's GDM that one. Haha, good to know, good to know. So GNOME brings in GDM, and that's a good thing to explain to you guys. It's in there in the tips. It's in there and it's rubbish and it's coming from Arch Linux and it only blocks GDM. We have to wait. I can't do anything right now. We have to wait. We have to delete something and maybe we can already have a look. Oh, that's gone. Let's do a control F on the GitHub in the text that we provide you. Not there, not there. In the text we provide you in the readme there is a tip and it says control find gdm if you install more than one display manager and so on gdm find 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 when using GDM as Display Manager, remember to delete the file Arch ISO, ah, oh, I forgot, etc mod D from your system. You can still do that, eh? deleting etc mod D. All right, that's all you need to do. And that's if you know, right? Doesn't really matter. But you can look for hours if you don't know. Well, let's go to, what do I have? Termite, terminal, uxterm, okay, terminal. 
give me an ls of etc and everything with a mo, mo thing and we see here where do we see it i don't see it there he is at the top etc mod d so cat etc mod d that's the message we get when you don't have anything on our um, when, when the arch linux boot up right the black thing that's the message you see there now it's obstructing gdm from launching so bye bye sudo remove etc mod d and it's gone no such file or directory all right because i just wanted to log out and have a look at all the other possibilities and then we got the message I say oh, what's that gone the message right um what i wanted to go to is here there he is so the possibilities since we installed budgie with all the dependencies we also have gnome there quick look but without gnome next so again another group that you either decide to install or not tend to take this one already always or that one maybe that one maybe whatever right and we can play along with um, this particular desktop right guys have fun with alci it's endless what you can do with it all right cheers